Well, hello, hello, my friends. The Coliseum welcomes you back. We are back in standard with another... Well, I'm not gonna lie. I had a bunch of cooler decks brewed. This one just popped up today, and since I'm running low on time... <laughs> you know what? We're gonna take the dirty option, so guess who's back? It's Red Deck Wins. Everybody's just absolute least favorite pile of trash, outside of maybe Mono Black. I'm talking standard, mind you, and these aren't bad decks per se they're just hated so let's crack it over and there's nothing too new in fact i'm gonna put all the new stuff over here all this stuff you already know about our one drops come on a kakazan monster swift spear phoenix chick our burn spells play with fire lightning strike now here is war crafting i do particularly love this one our two drops bloodthirsty adversary and felden ronum excavator the all-star team and then let's talk about our newcomers first and foremost Godric, Cloaked Reveler, a nice little trained Armadon with haste. However, as long as two or more non-land permanents enter the battlefield under your control this turn, he actually becomes a dragon with base power and toughness 4-4, flying, and of course, fire breathing. How sweet is that? Now, we have a, a couple ways to pull this off. We need two or more non-land permanents entering the battlefield, so that includes him... Should you play him on that turn. Charming Scoundrel, of course, my... Uh, 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 MVP that so far has been a very fun card to play with. I actually got it in my Mardu tokens list too, so we'll get to that when we get to it. Uh, she creates a treasure token or a wicked roll token. That's two permanents there. We got Kamano Vases Kakazan for the real combo where you could play this turn one and then by turn three when it transforms into etching of Kumano, then you drop Godric. Boom. He enters the battlefield as a 4-4 four because four he sees it. He sees it. Other than that, you got Sakanzan, Crucible of Defiance as a way to drop out extra tokens. I mean, even as a 3-3 for haste, a 3-3 with haste for three. You know, trained Armadon's pretty darn good too, because haste is all the rage. Charming Scoundrel we covered. I just love this chick. She is fitting into all my decks. She's awesome. And then of course, to top it all off, we got Monstrous Rage. Again, this is another way to get another permanent onto the battlefield because it creates the token enchantment. So target creature gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. And then it gets an additional plus one, plus one, and trample from the monster aura roll token. So pretty quick pretty direct it's freaking red deck wins let's see how this all goes why is my desktop audio acting weird i apologize if it is very quiet anywho my friends if this is your first time at the coliseum feel free to like feel free to subscribe our numbers grow every day and we love to have you also if you feel the need go ahead and comment give me any kind of deck list you want to check out and i'll be happy to give her a whirl so without further ado my friends let's get to the games all right oh that's reasonable let's do it this could be a very powerful hand, or we could just get destroyed. Could be doing a lot of damage, though. Nothing wrong with that, right? Boop! If it's a mirror, we got a little bit of interaction. Alright, Evolve Sleeper. Perfect. Felden, eh? Spiteful Hex Mage. Sure. Sneaky. Yep. You got it. Hmm. Let's see what he does here. Sure. Not what I meant to do. That's okay. Graveyard Trespasser, he says. Sure. Oh, boy. Yeah, not what I meant to do at all. That's okay, though. Definitely did my math wrong on that one. Here comes Shelly. I mean, I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, he's just doomed. But hey, you never know. He ain't getting in there. Oh, maybe he is getting in there. He is not. Go ahead, cast that card. Oh, trat. How good is that? I appreciate you doing it now as opposed to after my play with fire, which would have definitely screwed with my uh, scrying. 
Oh man, is there another way to get another permanent onto the battlefield here? I don't think there is. Hmm. What do I do? Play it, attack into Graveyard Trespasser, and that's the end of it. Yeah, let's hold off. Eh, of course. Of course, I should not have... Well, it's tough to say. I was kind of hoping for something a little better, but... Now we might just be in trouble. So now he's going to attack, gain two, be back up to three. We need a burn spell. Should I have taken the three three off the top and just attacked with it? Actually, the solution probably would have been to take the three three off the top, and I don't know, maybe um, Gix post combat Gix. Oh well, hey, that works too. There's your GG, homie. Well, <laughs> oh, red deck wins. What a joke. Okay, sorry about that. I got disconnected for a long amount of time, and oh boy, did not anticipate that. So I had to hop back in. I had enough time to do exactly what I'm doing right now, which is throw my guys onto the battlefield and start doing stuff. So not really much time for uh, an opportunity to do anything else there. I was sitting here waiting the entire time, and it was like, holy cow. That's a lot of fairies. Got him. Ah, man, that's a little awkward here. I'm debating with Charming Scoundrel. So, to two, I activate. We'll just go with Charming Scoundrel. Give her the counter. That's six damage here. Next turn, his 3 3 start on tapping. I'd like to save this Bloodthirsty Adversary, but at the same time, we just gotta keep the threats on the board. Liliana of the Veil, sure. Reasonable. Is this two to activate? Yep. Tell you what. Let's kill the Liliana. Ah! Jeez, what's up with my mouse? My battery might be dying on my mouse. That might have been dumb. We could have knocked him down to nine, discarded a Bloodthirsty Adversary. His next turn, the Sleep Cursed Fairy untaps, or at least I should say this turn, because he can pay two mana to do it. Stun counters, dude. What are you going to do? Yeah, this is what he's going to do, so. What's this thing? Ward two. Let's make him pay the mana to do it. He's got the spell stutter. He does. Not good for us. Yeah, yep. He got us. Down to 10. Now we're not looking too hot. Got a 3-3 Bloodthirsty Adversary coming at him next turn, but it ain't gonna do much. Oh boy. He's getting aggressive. Be aggressive. Hmm. Now we're gonna hold off on that bad boy. Do I wanna walk my No I don't. I'll pass the turn. I'm gonna hold up the lightning strike and zap him in a turn. Yeah, he got us with that. Uh... Yep, here we go. Down to six. Definitely did not need to land there. That's okay.
All right, shooting him the good game, moving on. Bye-bye. All right, I'm not going to lie. I feel like this game has a bias for letting Red Deck win go first. Anyone else notice this? Because, you know, I've, all week I've been going second. Seems like 90% of the time I, I suddenly play Mono Red and holy cow, I'm doing nothing but... Oh, that's interesting. Should I just go Felden into the obvious cut down? Or should I go Bloodthirsty Adversary, then Felden? We could go Charming Scoundrel, make a treasure. Set up for the th Godric. Hmm, Godric. Or we could go just Felden. So he untaps, he taps two, he plays something. Yeah, I don't think I want to do the Scoundrel. Actually, yeah, let's go with the treasure token. We know he's got removal. Make him use it on something that's not quite as good. Let's go uh, treasure token. Show me that cut down. No? Interesting. What else would he have for one mana holding priority that he wouldn't use? Nothing, apparently. Oh, that's a good one. Mono basis Kakazan. How do we feel about that? All right. He's definitely holding it. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to try to get in with what we got. And then I'm going to play with fire end of turn. Try to hit that third land. Then we can double spell next turn. Uh, potentially. Hey, he's really holding it. I mean, it's not the most threatening thing ever. All right, so it's not a cut down that's going to do the job anymore. Well, we might actually have the combo here. Oh, got to go for the throw. Sure, get it out of the way now. And he still has the cut down. Let's see if he'll use it. Nope. All right, it's all for me. Dang, this could be scary. Is that a beer icon? Is that a pitcher icon? What? You know what? Let's combo. Do I want to get super greedy? Six, seven, eight. Nah, we'll just pump. It's got another go for the throat. Still got that cut down we know about. Yep. <laughs> oh, lovely. Uh, what'd he pitch? Invasion of duty da 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 do 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 Okay, he time walked us. Cool. Well, that's going to make things a little bit tougher. So what we got next turn? The play with fire? Something's about to happen. Oh, Lord. That's all he's got? Yeah, whatever. We'll take it. Play with fire's face. No, no more of those, please. We're all good on mountains. Nice, sound to six. What's this guy? If you attack with three or more. Oh, I always think it's two or more. Boop. We're gonna try our absolute hardest to get in for lethal here. I'm going to put it on the 3-3 three, three because we know he has a cut down. And if he just hits it in response, we'll still get our damage. Good. Well, that's annoying. 
Well, he's, he's ready for us, that's for sure. Then again, it's Red Deck wins. Everybody should be ready for it. If you're going to play best of one, you got to be ready for this crap. Ugh, cripes. Pass the turn. Yay. I can't be upset. We had a pretty good hand. He just... Ugh, cripes. Okay, dude. Let's see what he hits. What we hit out of his garbage pile? Oh, great. Well, it ain't over till it's over. I don't know what we have that deals five damage. Do we have anything that deals five damage off the top? I don't believe so. Now here's Warcrafting doesn't hit their face. Ugh. Yeah, sure, dude. And then he gets to flip this too. Yeah, sure, dude. I don't know what we could draw. But then again, anyone who plays piles of marches and removal and god awful crap like that is going to beat Red Deck wins. So, yay, bye, Red Deck wins. It's actually kind of satisfying losing with this deck, not going to lie. All right, on the draw with Garbage. That's better. I'm going to put a Monstrous Rage on the bottom so we can at least make our Nahiri's Warcrafting. Yep. Duress by Monstrous Rage or Nahiri's Warcrafting. Here you look at that. Ugh. Mono black piles. Mono black piles versus mono red piles. Is that what this metagame? Oh, I take it back. I takes it back, so it does this. Hmm. Interesting. We get counterspell? No. What am I thinking? Oh, no. The white remand isn't in the set. Oh, you got me, homie. Anyways, let's go ahead and just make this baby wicked. Boof! Let's see, what do I not want to see here? Well, I don't know. I'd like to see something a little better. Ooh, well, that's going to be bad. All right. Pilfer away, kind sir. Ugh. <laughs> oh, it's a good day to hate playing mono red. Come on, come on. You ever notice when you play against Mono Red, they seem to have it all. When you play with Mono Red, they got Jack. Oh, beautiful. Phoenix Chick. That's just what I was looking for. Yep. Huzzah. Yep. I have a feeling we're going to lose this one, but you know what? You never know. Oh, Scoured Barons. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Yep, look at that. It's an evolved sleeper. Hmm, yep, that's what you can do with it. You can do it again if you want. Sure. Huzzah. Yep. Yep, nope, a little too scary for that. That's okay. We'll draw. <laughs> uh, I'm glad it's going so well for my opponent. Yay, Red Deck wins! How many lands do I play again? Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 lands. Okay, sure, dude. Yep. Yep. I right, stop that. Yeah, we're out of here. This is just dumb. We're just moving on. Yay, Red Deck wins! All right. That's a lot of lands, but we'll try it. It's on the play. Oof, Red Deck wins is just being god-awful today. What am I, one in three? One in f No, this will be one in four. Oh, <laughs> oh, yay, just what I wanted, more lands. Everybody loves lands, especially red decks. It's the best. Oh, yay. Oh, boy. Here we go. He's got something holding priority. Could be a go for the throw. Could be... I don't know. Let's find out. Going to combat. Rawr. Sure. Hmm. 
Might have been smarter to save the etching on that one and just kill the knight. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of want to get the damage in. Got to get him. Got to get him dead before he plays like a Rafine or something nutty. Okay. Wedding announcement. Sure. That's reasonable. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go. Charming scoundrel. Beep, bop, boop. And let's play them. All right, here comes the sweeper. Oh, wow, I'm impressed. Here comes the wandering emperor. Oh, like clockwork. Up to six. Yep. Ah, oh, red deck wins. Oh, this deck is miserable. I don't know how people just grind with this crap all day, every day. It's funny, because I'll play it in Historic or Explorer, because, I don't know. But for some reason, whenever I play this deck, it's just absolute garbage. Doesn't matter what the incarnation is. Yeah, you don't want to do that. I mean, you might. I don't know. It's going down to two. Maybe. Hmm. Or one. One works too. I'll take either. Beep, bop, boop. He's at one. Nope, my last card is not in fact a burn spell. See, I don't I don't do that. That's every other red deck buttons player. They always have the burn spell. Not me though. I got nothing here. Make us dude. He's gonna cast this. If he casts that, he's dead, so he's gotta have something better than that. Yep, here we go. He's got something. Ugh. Okay. Well, should we just get into combat here? Sure, let's see if he's got another one. I mean, we know he does. They always come in pairs. What? I don't know if I'd do that. Yep. Ah, but the Charming Scoundrel, uh, yeah. Huh, okay. Oh, good game. <laughs> yeah, bleh. Red deck wins. Yuck. Well, there you have it. I'm not going to dedicate any more time to it. You know the routine. Do I think the new additions are good? Yeah, sort of. Do I think everyone's prepared for it? Yeah. Do I think you'll have better draws and than I did. Yeah, absolutely. Sequencing definitely could have been better, especially in that first or second game, whichever one I forget. But, well, there you go. Goddard was pretty cool. Charm Scoundrel is always great. Monstrous Rage wasn't terrible. And the rest of the deck was just red deck wins. Mm. I don't really have much to say about it. I mean, it's there's nothing truly new or original here. So, if this is your jam, give it a try. It's, it's somehow it'll be, I, I imagine it'll be very, very powerful for you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you, and I'll see everybody at LA Tour.